Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest beta version of LaunchBox for Android. And with this one, we've got something that we've been waiting for for a while now, and this will become official. But as of making this video, it's still in beta. But I've been messing around with it for the last couple days because we now have custom themes in LaunchBox for Android. It's definitely been a long time coming, and this is a feature that I've been wanting to see for a long time on Android. Keep in mind, it's still a bit early. We're still in beta here, but you can always update to the latest beta, and I'm going to walk you through the process on setting these themes up. Over on the LaunchBox forum, as of making this video, there are four available. More might be uploaded by the time this goes live, but tools will be available for custom theme developers so they can create themes for LaunchBox on Android. So it's just a matter of time before the community comes through with some really awesome themes. Farron from the LaunchBox forums has already kind of ported some over or created some specifically for LaunchBox on Android, and they're really awesome. Now, if you're familiar with LaunchBox on Android, you might be familiar with the banner box look or even the wheel with details. Still looks pretty decent, but we've definitely been wanting a little more. Now, these themes can be swapped out on the fly, and for the platform category, at least as of making this video, we've got one that works with the platforms, and it's known as Alicia. So we'll go to change view. We'll set that up. That's the first one you saw. Personally, loving the way this looks. It's a big departure from what we had so far. But I've already set up all of the themes that are available right now in different platforms, and we can move right into them. So the first one here is known as Unified Light. I've got it set up with my Genesis platform. And uh, yeah, really nice, simple theme. Looks really good. We've got that video there because we now have access to EMU movies from LaunchBox on Android. Moving over to my Dreamcast section, I've got this one set up with Farron's Banner Box Light theme. And if it's not obvious enough, we can set up different themes for different platforms or different categories. There's another one known as Boxes Grid, and I've got that set up under GBA. So here's the Boxes Grid, and as you can see, that background changes. I don't have a ton of games for GBA installed on this, but, uh, you know, it'll definitely fill that screen up. And finally, I think this one's my favorite so far. We've got Box Grid. I just love the way this looks with that box art on the right-hand side. We've got our video playing on the left-hand side. And yeah, I mean, so far, the progress has definitely come a long way here. And I'm sure we're going to see a ton of different themes here for LaunchBox on Android as soon as the community gets their hands on this. But if you're interested in beta testing this right now, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough. It's actually really easy to set up. Okay, so first things first, we need to enable beta updates in LaunchBox on Android. We're going to go to our settings, options. From here, check for updates on startup. Make sure this is enabled. And update to beta releases. So we've got that set up. And really, all you need to do is go ahead and exit LaunchBox on Android. Start it back up. And you'll get a prompt to download the new update. It's going to automatically update for you. I'm already set up here on the Odin Pro, but now we need to get our themes downloaded and installed on this new update. So over on the LaunchBox forum, there's a new Android themes download section. I'll leave a link for this in the description. You're going to go ahead and find the themes you want. I would just go ahead and download all of them right now. There's not that many to mess around with, but some of these do have a couple views. So go ahead and just read through everything here. They'll also give you some information on installing this. And if a specific theme in the future needs a specific setting to work correctly, it should be listed here in the instructions. I'm going to be downloading these themes to my PC and then transfer them over to my Android device. But you can do this all on your Android device. Just keep in mind, you need a zip extractor and you need to know how to use the file system or a file explorer in Android to do it properly. Okay, so now that we have the themes downloaded, they're all going to come zipped, and these need to be unzipped properly. Now, if you're familiar with the Android file system or a file browser, you can always do it directly on the device itself. You can download an extractor and get it done from there. But since I've already got the PC set up, we're going to do it right here. So first up, banner box. Personally, I use 7-zip for this because we have an option to extract here. So I'm just going to choose extract here. And the reason we chose extract here is because we don't want this in a container folder. So this is the banner box light. And if we open this up, we've got the filter views, game views, and images. And this is exactly how we want to transfer this over to our Android device. Let me give you an example here. If I go to the grid.zip, right click and extract to the grid, you're going to see that we have another folder right here. 
And this is the folder that needs to be transferred over to our Android device. So I would definitely go with extract here. You can easily do it with 7-zip. I'll just delete all these. Right click, 7-zip, extract here. It's gonna put them all in the correct folders. So I'm gonna snap this over to the right hand side. Now I'm gonna plug my Android device into my PC. Now we have it right here. Open a new window. And I've got a micro SD card and internal storage. My launch box setup is actually on the internal storage of this device. So we're gonna go right here. Root of that storage, we have a folder called launch box. In here with the newest beta, we have a themes folder. And this is exactly where we're gonna place these themes. There's also an examples themes folder here. But we'll just take these, give them a second to transfer. And now we can head back over to the Android device. So we're on the latest beta. We've got our themes installed. Let's go ahead and enable them. From my NES section, I'm just gonna go up to the top right hand corner, change view, and you'll see we have more views and these are our new themes. So we can choose any of these themes here per platform and you can swap it on the fly. So if you wanna go unified with the whole setup, you can always just change it to the exact same theme for each one of your platforms. So yeah, I can't wait to see what the community does with these new themes for LaunchBox on Android. Uh, you can definitely test it out right now, just give you a quick walkthrough on setting this up. And I'm on the Odin Pro, but you can use this on your Android phone, your Android tablet, or even your Android TV. All links for everything I mentioned are in the description, and once this goes official, there will be more themes out. I'm going to make a full showcase video because I think we're going to see some really awesome stuff. But that's going to wrap it up for this one, and like always, thanks for watching.